I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, Bob, first. Yeah, um, I'd like to just take a minute of silence for this being 9 11. Um, people died 15 years ago. I have no idea. 
print out your uh, treasures report. Did you print out your treasures report? 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 Did you print out your Does this report reflect those checks? It does.
the New Hampshire Deposit Investment Pool account. I put this on the because we discussed it last time. And everybody, do you, Clem, do you want to talk about talk to this? Well, I, mentioned, I mentioned Monday night. <coughs> the old town book closed back in 1992. The open accounts more than one year. It was December 31st, including a month, for water was $10,769.47. The billing of store accounts. The NIG including invest was $203,876.74. That's what you think. As I mentioned, money also, one of those accounts was $148,000 a year. So, and that was one of the reasons why water and store combined so you had some control for what was going on. Until that time, we take out means on property, which actually cost us more than the interest we were collecting. We couldn't charge anymore. Okay. Uh, and your point? Yeah. What? What? If I was going to ask that. He's speaking to something that came up at the hearing. Allison. On the, uh, we're not making comments. Any time. Any time. Is there any way you can get a history of the whole account? <laughs> I know I can go back <clears throat> to when, as long as the account was online and the account statements and everything. I know at the district office there are a bunch of hard copy files. Um, but where, I can. Where are the hard copy files located? They are in the file cabinet way right. I think it's the second one down. The furthest one against the, the wall. By the air conditioner. Uh, yeah, it's either the second or the third one down. I mean, um, has looked through those. Okay. Do some more research than that area. But until we get that account squared away, we can't spend any money. We don't know what's spending on water or so we can wait some time. We have to separate and make it legal. Right now it's a little what we got. Sure. Um, I did want to say that I spoke to Tom Dume today about about that account also because I was wondering if he had any additional information. He really didn't, but I did ask him if that fund was restricted. I know Bernard said in a few emails that it was restricted, but Tom said it is not. He would have put that in his audit report if it was restricted. I don't know. I don't think there's a research fund. Okay, I'm just yeah. passing it along because in the last email I that... I was talking to him, he didn't know what was going on, so I didn't know what was. So I was breaking it down. He couldn't do it. Well, I was asking if, because I know Vern explains that it, the account was supposed to be a buffer for revenues that they didn't come in, and he explained it was restricted for that use only, whereas Tom is saying that that is not the case. So I just wanted to explain that that's what the auditor is. <coughs> we'll go back and check the record. That'd be great. <coughs> okay. But that, that does impact some of the projects we want to do. We can't do it until we get the money split up. KAB Real. Go on, go on. Um, KAB Realty was sent out a shut off notice. And they were reminded that when you get a shut off notice, you've got to pay up. And they got kind of upset about the prospect of having their water shut off. And they made a counter offer that they said, well, we'll pay $505.50 on October 4th, which wouldn't have addressed the issue of the arrearage, which is over 2,000. In other words, almost two quarters worth of blood. So I have drafted a letter here that basically says, OK, we'll make an agreement with you that you pay one quarter of the arrearage, or 505 .50, on October 4th, October 11th, October 18th, and October 25th by noon. And if you do that, fine. Then you've got to pay your next quarter bill, which is coming out. But if they miss any of those payments, they get shut off without further notice. They don't just one building. Well, just the one building. Yeah, that, that one building. Right here, the town hall. Right. Right. That White House yeah. with the farmer's portion front. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Why were they allowed to work so long? Because you are allowed to get to the point where it's like two quarters, and then you start getting shut up. And that's the policy. Because there are people who, you know, they, they have like yeah, I one and a quarter. That. Yeah. That, that's not a big deal. What's a big deal is they've got an apartment house, and then I'll pay them. Well, I'm okay with your plan. Why don't you read what they said? I mean, is you the bill in any way? Huh? Are you disputing the bill in any way? No, no. Okay. No, they say they're disputing the shut off. Getting money is the secret. I mean, it saves us having to go to court to get the shut off. Oh, no. Wrenching is very cheap. No, I understand that. Is that acceptable to you? It is. Okay, you can sign it. And we'll offer it to them as a plan and see what they do. Are you sending it to them, Vern, or am I calling them tomorrow? Uh, we're going to uh, scan it and email it to them. Are you going to send it to them? No. Sure. When they get it, register. If it goes by email, they get it. I'll send them a couple of them. Now it takes a certified letter from Wallingford to Wallingford. But you know, we have an amendment in the car. Six days. Six days. See, first class, of course, better. And email works even better. Works in the community. I think this is a reasonable amendment. Pumpkelly drawing sets cleanse request. Go ahead. I see the people from uh, right here from Pumpkelly. Uh, one for $18,000, one for $5,100. Uh, I have some concerns about engineering signatures on the drawings. It verifies that what we're doing is correct and it's completely operating on the finance and And I haven't heard back from Mr. Gary since then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A few minutes before I came, 
contract. But I understand that, but he wants to pick the right peers for somebody else, and that's a certified engineering firm. We would oversee that, but he might find the, the other engineering firm is thousands cheaper. I wouldn't have a problem with that. He could, he could definitely well, he's he's signs off on it. I got no problem with that. Again, in the best interest of the, of the district, it would be best for us to hire the firm. And it's our decision as to how it moves forward. Yeah, we'll we have the authority to sign contracts. We do. We commission. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Is Mr. Brigham here? There you go. If he gets a professional engineering company to go in and do this, and it meets PDS's requirements, we actually engage the uh, engineering firm that you choose because, like, civil consultants does it for a lot of developments around here. Right. We can stop forward. Yeah, I've yeah, got a good relationship well, with that. No, I, I'm just citing this as an example of how the process works. <coughs> the developer then pays, in this case, the town. The town takes it out of a deposit for an application, and the civil consultant produces a report. But you're going to have to do that anyway. All right? My only point is, if you want civil consultants over the right peers, it's not our job, in my opinion, to tell them who the hell he has to hire as right. long as it needs to be the standard. Right. Can I get a, a look at the estimate that you already got from the engineers that you usually use? You said Pierce uh, already did it. What? What? Uh, and I understand, Mike, that they've already got a hydraulic model of our system. That's 1,200? I mean, as to keep it as simple and as quick as possible, I can do the thing that, to me, it would seem quickest, um, provided they have time, I'd be comfortable going through them. Okay, do you want to join them? Go right ahead. Well, no, he's the paperwork. I understand, but he's saying he's comfortable with this. No. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a preliminary. <laughs> That's, that's a did to do the work. That's okay. That's what he is. Okay. You're okay. I'll pay him directly or through the town, however you want. Okay. You want this one or what? You probably got thousands of dollars here. He's got one. I got one. Okay. okay. Here. See, there's two of these. Sign away. I know. There's no. Two. Oh, these are two of them. Was there? I didn't put them in class. I am.
Oh, this one? Yeah, yeah. It, it has the effect of nothing. We can I'd love sign to have it. it. Yeah. Can sign up. I'd love to have it. But it has no authority because it's going to go before the EDS. I think it's, it'll be a requirement either after or before that that you also approve it. So if, if it's nothing to you, I'd love to have it. Well, it has to be. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you want me to look the letter before it's done? Yeah, I know you talked about the ordinance before, and I had a chance to review it. Yes. But you're on to it. Okay. Okay. But 
it was legitimate, there was no criminal intent, so let it go. Let it go. You hacked an email account. That's I didn't that's hack it. I have emails. access to it. But she was blocked Doesn't out of it while you were logged in. And that's another thing. I'm now blocked out of multiple accounts because you hacked into the Comcast account. What other accounts are there? Health Trust, NHMA, uh, probably the DRA as well. There's multiple accounts that I've been locked out of because you reset the password. We'll review that. Yeah, we need to. That'd be how much is the attorney cost in the district today, being here? Yeah, I really that think is, that should be disclosed. Can we won't, we won't, we won't the hourly rate. I, so, so my hourly rate, I believe, our municipal is one ninety-five. The last meeting I came to, I didn't charge the district okay. too. I, I hadn't actually decided whether I'd do that. I, I like to come to the meetings to get a flavor for how people operate, what the issues are, hear what people say. Um, you know, normally I would charge for a meeting like this. I came early though. I'm planning to consult with the commissioner, so you know, to say an hourly rate might be inaccurate because I may only bill them for half an hour, even if I'm here for two hours. So just, just that's kind of what comes into it. Um, it all gets boiled down into a bill. So. All right, thank you. Do you represent our interests or the interests <coughs> as elected officials? So I know there, you, you guys have a meeting. I'm sorry, you didn't get your name? Kristen Paleko, 545 uh, Silver Street. We Silver work together. Street. We work together. <coughs> I, I like to think of the district board of commissioners, the board, not individuals as my client. Yeah. Boards, boards change. I mean, the people, I started working for the district in 2009, yeah. and you know, those people have all left, and then right. the people who replaced them have all left, and so. Uh, that changes over the time. The only exception to that is really when uh, an annual meeting's convened, then it's yeah. probably more accurate to say that the legislative body at that point would be considered my client as well. Yeah, that's just my question. Like, if you give them advice, is it advice in our interest or is it advice in their interest? For example, our superintendent is going to get his review tonight and it's going to be private even though he requested it to be public, which is by law they need to let him have a public review. They're refusing that, so which, like I can't ask for your advice to them, but I'm wondering, would your advice to them be please just follow the law and let him have a public review, why not? Or or, okay, can, can man, I you can get away with sure. this. Yes, you so, may, absolutely. So, so, so that, that by law, the district's board of commissioners is elected to serve the prudential affairs right. of the district. Yep. So, so they're my client, and they're accountable to you as the citizens. They're representing right. you. I provide them with legal advice. So they make the decisions. And right, the they know. I advise them on the law. That's, that's really yeah, my, my concern is just they're immune, so they break the law tonight. They get sued. Um, we pay for it. Yeah, we're right up They're going to into it. Fees. It doesn't come out of your pocket. I work 16-hour days. I'll be working till 4 o'clock tomorrow morning in order to make up for being here, you know. And as a citizen, it's just, I just wish you stop breaking the law. That's just a small ask. But wouldn't the question be, what's the basis of needing to have a lawyer answer a question where there's a law stating that someone has a right to do something? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. I wouldn't need to spend $195 an hour to read legislature that tells me that they have a Yeah, the New Hampshire Municipal Association already validated that question. So said he had a right. And that was great. Actually, they well, the fact that you misrepresented yourself in I violation of RSA. Okay, I, did not. I, I said who I was. That's it. That's it. We're not going to get into that. I did not. Municipal Association recanted their support. And I have, a, I have the information here if you'd like to see it. Is there, is there a reason to not have a public review? Well, as it was explained to me, yeah. an employee at will does not have a right to a hearing or a meeting. Does not have a right to a public review? Doesn't what have a right to a meeting. In what fact, if, theoretically, the commissioners could meet without the employee at all. Yeah. Is that the plan? Well, I would just... You were up, you had your hand up first. Well, I have a 
to that after this. But I have a concern about something I heard regarding the folks over on Willie Street. And the concern is um, some of these folks are buying bottled water, and I guess have been for some time. I don't know what you're holding up, so. I heard that meeting Monday night. I guess yeah. some research. And my my concern is that the we've heard about the discoloration, the odor. I'm I've heard all kinds of stuff about it being safe. However, these folks are paying out of their own pockets for bottled water to drink, you know, for themselves, for their children. Um, I don't think any of us would, uh, you know, <laughs> want to go over to the tap to get somebody in our house a, a glass of water that looks, you know, the same color as beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that that it, it, it's really unacceptable. Now bring it we're in, all aware. Guys drink it. We're all aware of the problems. So my request is that the commission strongly consider paying for these folks to get bottled water in their homes. I mean, I'm hearing about folks buying filtration systems. I have no idea what this is costing them, and I'm sure that each one of them can provide some sort of an idea. But I think at the very least, until the problem is rectified, that this would be a, an ample solution to that, at least give them the peace of mind that their the water that they're providing their families is is 100% safe, is not discolored, doesn't smell. I mean, we can't do anything about the water that you know they're using for their baths and showers, but at the very least, we can provide them with clean drinking water until the problem is solved. And I think we're not talking about 500 residents; we're talking about a street. And I, I think it's a, it, it should be a, a, you know, a strong consideration. I'd like to see it brought up at the next meeting and hopefully a decision be made so that these people can be provided that, uh, you know, that service. There are services, by the way, I think that can provide water. Yeah. I was at the meeting Monday night. I yeah. heard the, uh, the member of the school board that spoke. That's me. Oh, that was you. Yeah, okay. me. All right. I'm sorry. I broke my glasses off. All right. Anyway, I went online and I checked out based on the comments that you made and see who delivered locally. And I found that there's a company called Crystal Rock. And I investigated what they were talking. I called them and talked to them and they sent me some emails. And on that email, he tells me. One five gallon ball costs four, uh, purified, seven forty nine. Spring water, which you can use for drinking, cooking, whatever, which is the general one, or the one you want to go with, is eight forty nine. The dispenser rental is three ninety nine per month, every twenty eight days. And there's refundable six dollar uh, bottle deposits after you turn your bottles in. There's also a five seventy six variable energy charge, surcharge built once every month, and every invoice. Then he sent me a second email. He said for seven, uh, for eight five gallons of spring water and one top water would be seventy-seven sixty-seven for one hour. For how long? For no, no, that's for a month. Okay. So he takes seven households. That comes to five hundred forty-three sixty-nine per month. Okay. And I put a figure down ten months because by the time you get a thing approved, one month, they're talking almost fifty-five hundred dollars. Which is yeah. why it's worth you know. the same. Right. 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 Let him finish. Let's be polite. The idea is, Sorry. Put this not, again, I don't think we're going to plan on a budget. And I, I feel for these people to like we do. But we have to make decisions. We're going to take the money from if we're going to go this way. Which affects some of the things we plan for in the budget that we would not have. We have to talk to you as far as that goes. What about us going to make money out? What can we let go for now? To handle Legal expenses. We're going to drop something because the money's tight and all the money was approved in the water. I understand. So you, 
you get it from Vice Senate? What, will we get money to support this? Invite like me to the table and we can have that discussion. Fine. Say again? Invite me to the table to have that discussion. Well, and we I, can... I just brought it up now. I'm just talking to you. Okay, let's, let's not extend this any further. We understand the issue. We understand the issue. Oh, yeah. There are other issues people want to talk about. Right. We got it. We got right. it. I, I completely understand that. But if you're looking for the money, you spent almost $19,000 in legal fees. Just in, in the four short months. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, we're talking about a 10 month period. These people are paying for their own water. I'm still receiving a right. bill and, for and water from the town. I'm, I'm, I'm really yeah, concerned though that this hadn't come up earlier as a discussion because the complaints I know have been ongoing. And, and I don't think it's, it's unfounded to say, you know, I, and Clem, I appreciate that you looked into that and got some calls. And I, I do think that there are probably other companies as well that have that, that provide those services. But all I'm saying is, you know, as a tax, I'd be willing to pay more myself just to make sure that these folks have water, that they can drink. I will, I will give you a check right now. To, to take care of that. You know why? It. Because I think it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. The second thing I wanted to, to bring up was, I'd like to hear from the commission directly why it is that Ray, who requested to have his annual review in public, why you wouldn't do that. Now, I, maybe as a as a rate payer, which I am, I want to know what Ray is doing all day. I want to know if this guy is sitting at his computer all day playing computer games or maybe answering your fan mail or something. But I want to know what exactly the problem would be hearing his review if he's requested it. And for RSAs, it's his right. That, that's what that's what my concern is. It seems to be just really peculiar that we can talk about customers who aren't paying their bills, but we can't hear about the superintendent who's here doing his job. So I'd like to I'd like to know. I'd like to know from you, all three of you. We hear you. Um, we have gone over this extensively. I can't explain it any further than to say what you said before. I wasn't here before. So I wasn't here I before either. I don't understand. I wouldn't mind hearing it again. I might give it a little bit. There's a history you can watch on the videos. It goes back by ways. Legal expenses well, started the day after you guys came on board, so obviously it's been going back pretty far. So like within a 24 hour period, you made a pretty strong impact, huh? We're not going to talk about. You don't want to talk about what you don't privilege. want to talk about. We can't talk about it, but there, believe me, I would like to. There are a lot of things we can't say. But involves personal and if you saw the background of this, you go. I do because you don't know who I am, and I know the true background. So thank you. I'm aware of all of your fan mail that gets sent to my house 24-7. When he's not at work, when he's at home trying to help raise his children and take care of his wife. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about. I am his wife. I, I'm sorry, who? Your superintendent's oh. wife. So I am aware of all the background oh, oh, issues. Oh, so if you want to tell me that I don't know what's going on, I know more about what's you're, going you on. You don't live in the district. No, I don't. So you're going to try and tell me I should not. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fantastic. No. I don't think I should because you don't shut off in my home 24 hours a day, so I shouldn't have to shut off in your meetings. I should be entitled to come to your meetings and speak my yeah, mind and call you up. Yeah, yeah, you have another hand up, but you're not answering any of the questions you don't want to answer. So I've done my own research, and in Willie Street, would that water actually equate to one person in the 64 ounces of water that they should consume a day? Because I did my research, and it far surpasses what your rate increases would be to correct the issue in your community. And you're choosing not to do that. So what do we have to say to that? Do you need to convene with your lawyer to be able to discuss why it is that you guys can't do that? Because $20,000, you guys keep saying that you're not going to take action on things because you're concerned about the fact that you might make the wrong decision, that the data's not there to support it, but you frivolously spent $20,000 rather than investing that back into your community to see what you can do for the betterment of your community. 
because I'm sure the people that live on Willie Street would have gladly had $20,000 thrown at them to see what might work to correct their issue. You can stare at me all you want, because I can stare back just as hard. I'm just saying, that's all I'm doing, but I can't make any comments because the laws... No, you can't make comments because you've sought to seek legal counsel rather than work as a community. No. You guys are taking a position of you against the community. No. Yes, you have, because you can't speak oh, without your lawyer. You can't give my husband a review. Somebody else has to speak. Somebody else has to speak. Go ahead, Would you identify yourself first, please? I'm David Abbott. A-B-B-O-T-T. And you live? I live with now, right now, I'm in the process of moving to Mr. Pat Polsky's house. Okay. okay. So, okay. where do you currently live? I, right, I'm homeless. Does it matter where I live? Yeah. It does. It's so I'm sure you have to these guys. They don't pay any good money because... The lawyer doesn't live They're here. embarrassing. They, they have, have no respect for any of these women. They have no respect for you. If they did, they'd follow some laws. And I am personally going to help these guys with a lawyer. You laugh again, sir. You don't no want to laugh. laugh. No one's okay. laughed. You're no surrounding one's your embarrassed. These are rate payers. They pay money. Okay? So do we. They want to be better. They want to be heard. They want to answer. I missed my second meeting. You have never answered any question you never asked you. Except you attacked this point and made us doing a job. Three of you guys should be embarrassed. Don't look like that either. Okay, thank you. 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 And this guy here, sir, you asked him a question. He wanted to answer your question. This guy <coughs> here spoke. Well, what right does he have? Because he's your attorney? No. And maybe her attorney now. Think about that. Somebody else? Somebody else. Somebody you, guys, you guys are just great. Yeah. We're just going to keep moving around until we find someone that says something that they want to hear. And, and your name, okay. sir? Exactly. I'm Mike Gibbons. I'm okay. from Locust Street. Okay. I've been a rate payer for, since yes. I've been in town. Yeah. Um, I have a concern because I was reading in the paper and I've been to, I was concerned about what was said in the paper and I wanted to voice that concern. I went to the last two meetings of information because I didn't know anything about what was going on. Right. Um, but I am concerned about getting it out of the paper. As commissioners, I want to charge you with getting it out of the paper. I don't want this to go on with Rollinsford having a reputation for having bad water or having fights among the water department for realtors, for people selling their home. We went through this issue and I was a very strong advocate in the Marshwood with the schools. But in terms of the value of my house, I don't want it in the paper. And whatever you have to do to work with people, I don't know what's going on. But I want you to work with people, and I want it to be heard, that I don't want it in the paper that you're having these arguments. I want it just resolved. I happen to live two doors away from Willie Street. So I have a real concern about what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Even though I've been to both meetings, I don't know what the concerns are. But I don't know what you're doing about it either. <coughs> you see that I came here and heard that there's a report due at the end of the week. When will this be resolved? Let me ask for that. Yes. I, I, what do you mean? Yeah, Willie Street issue? issue? Yeah, when are we fixing Willie Street issue? issue came up a few months ago and we found out that this was supposed to have been done two years ago. Okay, so. And part of it got done, part of it didn't. So. Our actual involvement in Willie Street is a few months, and it is a problem, and we're fully aware. Well. So what's the plan? If, they, well, that's if, if there was a plan and part of it didn't get done, may I ask? Because they used the fifty thousand dollars that was supposed to be the second part of that for something else that they weren't supposed to use. And is that the fifty thousand dollars? I didn't go to the twenty thousand um, annual meeting. Is that the fifty thousand dollars that was approved? No. no. So we need fifty thousand dollars. There's a whole thing about Willie Street. Ray came on because he called me a really sort of lawyer. Really the Street. All that existed there. Yep. And we didn't know what was going on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 I wasn't upset with the Willie Street customer. No, no, you were upset, I was upset with, with, with the issue. Yeah, situation. I just want to make sure that that's clear. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. But 2017 and was 2018, they put the hydrogen on the water. The 2019 budget is an address Willie Street. 
Now they get the engineering drawing going, we get uh, financing going in the house, you can have engineering drawings. There's nothing in that budget to allow for that. But the plan for it. The 2018 things, is the second part that was no, 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 There was nothing in the 2018 budget at all to cover Wall Street. We weren't trying to but push something out. Is, may, I please, may I please finish? What we're trying to do now, we're pushing to get the drawings for Wall Street to so go ahead and get our financing and get something going early next year. You wait till next year by the time you get the drawings done, you go over the business and you just, it's going to be at the end of the year again. No. Yeah, I know, I mean, what's the lift? I'm not talking about getting stuff out of that. Am, I missing, oh, you can't. am I missing something? The plans were there and one part got done and the second part didn't? No. Is that what you told me? Yes. And the second part was a budget It's more complicated than we can explain in like one minute. Okay. Well, I can explain those five years. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Excuse, excuse me. Stop talking. Our, our supervisor can explain it? No. Oh, no, 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 I'm going to call for order, and then I'm going to clear the room. We don't get order. Let this do we get seats. We've that? got two minutes. This can be explained in two minutes. It goes back. There's lots of things that took place, lots of change of emphasis in where money was spent, and that happened. Okay. Okay. That's history. We can't but that's history. It. We can't change it. You cannot lie about it, though. But. All right. Or they were part of it. Mr. Roselle. I'm just trying to get a fair order in here. That is going to have to be checked. Please. Maybe I need to get down to the office and get it explained to me, but what I am concerned about is what I'm reading in the paper and what I'm hearing around town. Well, Are you gentlemen willing to say, let's get this out of the paper and resolve it so that we, we're not we stuck tried, with this issue? We tried, but remember, the way those stories are written sells paper. Oh, my God. God. It's it's that, we're all bad by It's not Okay. Yeah, well, so yeah, just decade. so you know, because I did bring this point up, let me respond to just that. Just yeah. Everyone is reading that paper, and everybody has the read that I read. And I don't want that anymore. If I'm paying money to this board, I expect the board to get it out of the paper and not develop a reputation that there's a problem in this town with the water. Right. I yes. absolutely agree. But I'm hearing about fighting at meetings, and I'm hearing about the police needing to be in meetings. This is ridiculous. And I'm here it is. because I don't know everything about it, but I'm here to voice that concern. Let me, let me just give you a, a, a simple problem. Last year, looking at the minutes, there were maybe one or two people. None of these issues came up at the meetings. If there were, they're not in any of the minutes that we've gotten so far. Okay? So when, when, we, when we see... Uh, I went to the website and I couldn't find any reports or minutes so or anything. So the point is, the, minutes, the meetings were not two hours long like they are now. Okay? They were four hours. They were, they were in many cases, 10, 15 minutes, these meetings.
had access to those things. All my concern with the history is that I asked the right questions. All that I'm able to ask the right questions. I'm not repeating everything that you guys have already worked on or previous people. So I'd like to do that. But my main concern is how quickly can we get this done? How can we be civil? What is it? The will we'll straight get done. We'll and get answers because there don't seem to be any right now. 2020 looks like a bully street. I'm sorry? 2020. Next March. It'll be done, but it's not a budget. Yeah, started. We could start it next March. It's not going to take long to replace the pipe on Willie Street. But first you have to put all the pieces together to do municipal borrowing. And make sure everything is done right so that you can expend the funds. Okay? Alright. So Back to the paper. Is there anything we can do to stop this being in the paper? Free press? They get right with them? No, I'm asking you as a commission. Are you There's really? nothing we can do. You're writing in the paper. Please. Let's take turns. I don't know that I can be any stronger with the three elected people that I want you working to get this situation out of the paper get it solved for the people that are paying in town. Mm -hmm. And if, that, if there's an issue with the superintendent, then I want transparency. I want to know what your issue is. Because whatever your issue is, or however you're dealing with it, is now making into the paper as fights, and that's not helping us. I want you to help me make sure that there isn't an issue about water. If I wanted to sell my house, which I don't, but if I wanted to, I don't want the realtor saying you can't do it because there's an issue of water. And there is. People tell me that the water isn't good to drink. Who tells you that? People in town. Who tells you that? Because the tests People say the water is safe and fine. It's discolored. I grant you that. And it smells. But it's safe. I don't want to drink discolored water. Is there, are you working on that? Does yes, it we are. Okay. But is there a PR? Can you do something in the paper? Can you put something on the website? There's not much we can do. For but the there's nothing on the website. Listen, the newspaper decides what they want to print. We don't control I'm, the press. Sir, I'm in publishing. I understand how the press works. Right. What I'm saying is how the three of you work. What they reported couldn't be reported if it wasn't happening. They wouldn't be reporting if there weren't police being called to meetings. Mm -hmm. That's true. Police. That's true. Police. People were talking in. A lot of innuendo and suppositions were made. And something about this on effects. And we, being where we're at, to deal with some of these personnel, can't talk in public. Now, you're telling us to try to ameliorate the whole situation. It's kind of hard. I'm sure it's They hard. can say anything they want, whatever they want. But they have no responsibility at all. Is up in the paper. But I've also talked to people in town that have been to some of these meetings. Yeah. And they're concerned as well. Right. And I want to know that you guys are concerned. We are. But I'm understanding, I don't understand the $19,000 that everyone's talking about. I can't. Well, believe me, every penny of it is justified. And if you can see the details, you can say, yeah, you had to Can I see the money. details? If it was no. public, you could. Because it's privilege. It's, it's personnel. It's personnel. $19,000 of personnel issues? I run several companies and I've had personnel issues. I've never made $19,000 for a lawyer. This is really walking ourselves into a trap because we can't answer it, but you can keep asking the questions. You can't talk about it. Well, do you see it as a concern to have $19,000? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, they act like adults. We all. Can. If this okay. gentleman asks for public meeting, you can't get it. Yeah. Is that because of legal? Yes. And there's not any part of this meeting that can be uh, public. This is public. No, this part of whatever you're having a meeting with him tonight. No. Because personnel. Personnel. It's all personnel. Well, no, no. There, there's. It's personnel and legal. And I can't talk about it, so my hands are tied. One last question. Go ahead, then. 
Guardian, 496 Macaris. I'm very confused. Okay. There's a review going on. Your and and I know you, but there's a bunch of people in this room that want to know what's going on. That that want you to represent us. Me personally, or you to represent us because we elected you. Okay, or a you got assigned. Sorry. Um, by representing us, we want to know what's going on with the superintendent. We. Don't, 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 don't. Just tell you the mechanics. We can't talk about it. It has to be confidential. Even what? though... No, wait, no, wait. Listen all the way through instead of jumping ahead. You've already, if the person who You've already interrupted the, me. If the person who receives the information wants to make it public, that's their choice. The person who's receiving the information is asking it to be public. We are here for it to be public. So, do it publicly, please. We want to. We can't release it. Well, that's. So the recipient of the information can release it. I asked that. It, we can't. So then the meeting cannot convene so he can make it public. So he can record it and provide everybody no, in no, town no, no, with a copy of it. Am I going to be at the meeting? <laughs> I don't even know. I have asked. I sent multiple emails. Am I going to be invited to the meeting? Because you have your attorney here, I think it's a great opportunity for some clarity for the people present. Um, RSA 91A2, only the following matters shall be considered, uh, considered or acted upon in non-public session. A, the dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee or the disciplining of such employee, or the investigation of any charges against him or her, unless the employee affected, one, has a right to a meeting. That's the operative word. And That's two, right. requests that the meeting be open, in which case the request shall be granted. So if you're claiming, one, that he does not have a right to a meeting, she it does says, say that this applies to all public employees, and yet you said something about at-will employees. And I'm wondering, since you clearly received some other legal advice that offers clarity about the distinction, if that legal, if the commission would be willing to let the attorney clarify that distinction for the public. No. no. Why? Why not? Why? 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 Because that puts the attorney in an impossible <coughs> situation. What the Why? 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 It doesn't give them opportunity to confer with their attorney to tell them what they need to say back to him to respond. The That's interesting the thing here is that we all here in this room are paying this guy's salary. Right. He works for us. He works for you. Right. He works for all of us. So what we've asked is to grant him his wish. He asked for this to be in public. And you know what? I was reading this and, and when I first saw it, I didn't understand. I'm like, well, why? Would they not, if he's asked for it, what, what's going on? That they wouldn't allow him to have any problems. And, and, and still, it's, it's, it's so vague. It's so cloudy. I mean, it's just like this, this air of mystery. You know, like there's going to be some big surprise party. And, and, and that's wrong. Because, you know, everybody is it's concerned about transparency. Your own superintendent is asking for this to be in public. Maybe we need to have another meeting to schedule that meeting for him so he can have that in public. Is that what you were saying? That you couldn't have it at this meeting, but you could have it at another meeting? So Is that what you meant? I thought it was pretty clear. It, it says no, that not, 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 clear. Not, no, not, not clear. No, no. It's, it's as clear as mud. Oh, it's as clear as the water. It's as clear as the water on the We're just going to keep rehashing the same issue. We're going to move on. But, so I was at Monday's meeting too, and it was confirmed saying that if we wanted to assume legal the expenses, then we could assume we'll legal expenses to fight. No, I'm not, because that is the reality. I'm not leaving. No, I'm not leaving. Go get your lawyer. He can't take me out of here. I'm representing her right now. Okay. So the thing is, is that so. 
and, no. and, and someone's being disruptive, the police will remove them and probably arrest them. We've had so, we so, so that's that's really what your option is. If if this were the annual meeting, the moderator could do it, but I don't think that you have right, the same power. Thank you. So so put that on uh, record, please. Not a public meeting. Not correct. So uh, you know, it, it may be appropriate to do that if, if you if you determine that it's. No, it's not disruptive. What's disrupting is that we have to seek legal expenses when we have a family of five to be able to pay you to get his rights. Yeah. 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 Come on, I'm he's going to have me arrested. I have no criminal record, but he should definitely have me and arrested. Could we, could we educate a citizen? We're going to move on to the next, the schedule of the next meeting, October 9th. Burn. 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 Burn.
And there hasn't been a lot of clear answers. I've watched the videos. I'm still just as confused as he is, going, what the hell is going on? And Vern, I will come down any day you want, and I will sit with you for five hours, and we will go through everything. I am willing to do that, because then maybe I can get a better understanding of what's going on, and then maybe better communicate that to my neighbors. Because right now, we're just hitting walls. I don't understand you, and you aren't understanding everybody in this room. And it's making it worse. It's making the paper. It's making the news. It's affecting all of us. And more importantly, it's affecting the people on Willie Street. And I appreciate you looking at getting water delivery. Let's just solve the problem. Nobody wants to drink brown water. Can we all agree on that? Nobody wants to drink brown water. So I don't give a rat's ass what needs to get done. Get the people clean drinking water. We, we elected you to get something done. So let's just do it. I don't understand. And like I said, you want to sit down with me for four or five hours? I'll come, with, I'll come down. I'll sit with you. We'll go over it. Help me understand what's going on because it has not been clear. At least not the information or videos that have been put out there. That's all I wanted to say. Because just... Find the money. Find the money to be able to pay for that water until the problem is fixed for those folks over there. Yeah, don't charge them for the water. Yeah, That's this is option. ridiculous. Yeah. Take them off the charge. That's a great idea. I just want to. We're not going to attack you, Mr. King. Just uh, Mr. Cooney, right? Yeah. Comment about the water. I mean, that's five. To, I don't know what they're paying now for the bottle of water, but they're paying all of it. And we're concerned about five thousand dollars over ten months for the entire water district. That's one street that's paying that right now to get that water for the. I'm two doors down from them. They're my friends. My children play with their children. Go over the house. Just get them the water. Five thousand dollars against the, the district. Do whatever. You, raise the rates. I don't care. But they shouldn't have. They should not have to pay that water on that street. Let's bring it out to the entire district. Let's do something. But they should not. We should not be concerned about five thousand dollars to get them water because we're not giving it to them. Okay. Can I hear it? Can I make a recommendation on the water process? Can I make a recommendation about the water? Both Porter Well and General Sullivan Well, we run a sink daily that we dump water on the ground because we need to run that water to be able to test properly. Why don't we allow our customers to come down? Now this water is coming directly from the source. It hasn't hit our distribution system yet. It's pristine. The issue is coming from our distribution system. Would you allow them to come down with gallons of water and fill up? What's that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll fill it up and bring it. No, wait, wait, wait. It's coming straight. Is it pre? It's treated. Okay. It is treated. Sure. Yeah. Sure. It's getting dumped into a sink because we Fine. need to run it constantly to get accurate samples. Sure. Absolutely. Let them fill. Fine. Yeah. I'll get the bottles. I'll bring them to you. And then there's no cost. Bottles should be easy. Yeah. I'll get yeah. it. I first, I wanted to thank Tom for coming to Monday's meeting. Um, I think many of us in the room appreciate the fact that you came, so thank you very much. Um, I did want to ask, a couple of meetings ago, we talked about prioritization. Um, and the, the first item, I think there's 147, maybe it's up to 162 now, right? 187. Okay, there we go. Um, but the $25,000 in the budget concern was your first, the financial matters and the $25,000 that came back from the audit report was your first Oh, concern. the overspending. Yeah, the overspending. I was just wondering if you had any conclusion to that or um, I knew you were doing some further investigation. DRA is reviewing it now. Okay, so it's still an open matter? Yep. Okay. Um, and then just a question about um, Meredith, I, the operator, the other operator that left a few months ago. Just wondering how the hiring process is going for that. I have been, I have been talking with facilities in Maine and New Hampshire, and they're saying finding qualified people is very hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, there's hardly a business you go to. I mean, they've got cell phone signs everywhere. We're, we're below frictional unemployment, if you know what that means. And it's like, 
frictional unemployment is considered to be the minimum okay. that unemployment, and we're below that. So it's like, you know, and I'm, I'm that's the market. That due to the news as well, who would be attracted to come work there? Make a recommendation right now. Do we it helps solve the problem, guys. Kate's been helping out. I know you're aware of it. Yes. We haven't yet had a conversation about this. Let's save that for our conversation. That's fine. But I'd like to present the opportunity to hire Kate as an operator who has the ability to do the job. Is she licensed? None of our none of our operators are licensed. Tom is licensed. Tom is not licensed. I thought Tom had a wastewater one. No, he's not. I have a distribution in Massachusetts. Have you he has no New Hampshire license. Have you gone for the uh, reciprocity agreement? What was that? Have you gone for reciprocity so that you can get a license in New Hampshire? I am going for it. What is that? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, right. but my, my point to the conversation is, is that we, that, that in the industry, that should be a separate discussion. Just so we understand, in the industry, we do hire people that aren't licensed as long as they're trainable because the licenses are attainable. Yep. And to take people in that aren't trained sometimes is a benefit because they don't have bad habits. <laughs> so Kate has learned. I'm sorry. Buddy. It's all right. Kate has it's learned our serious. process and understands our process and could very easily help this solution along quickly. I just wanted to bring up about the bottle of water that you, Ray, brought up a few minutes ago. Um, logistically, and, 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 and I, I appreciate you, you mentioning that. that. That is a good idea. That, the concern I have is how are these folks dispensing the water? I mean, you're asking them to go and get, like, go and pick, get the water. We can work out the logistics. I don't yeah, the one gallon and does. how would they dispense the water? Because, I mean, yeah. they're a huge... Yeah, you know, these huge well, well, again, we're going to take a look at the the logistics of getting water to those few houses is not a big deal. Right. It's, it's, really, it's not. Have you ever seen them? They're called carboys. They're like a metal frame with a plastic cube inside. Yeah, you can do sucks. like 600 gallons. I'm just making it here for so it's convenient to those folks. Right. But they don't have to bring But I don't think it would be a big deal to get yeah. some bottles. I mean, even if they want to provide it, we just give right it away. Walk. That would be phenomenal. Right now. Okay. All right. Well, at this point, I make a motion to put the non public. You have a hand on the yeah, one more hand up. I know. Frank, one more hand, please. One more hand, please. One more hand, please. I make a motion by roll call for the non-public session question pursuant to RSA 91A colon 32A. They're one just more delaying this. Person and comment. And 91A colon 32 matters that would affect the reputation of a person other than the member of the board. I vote aye. Aye. Okay. Very well. We are non-public. Oh, oh, it's much cooler in here. Shh. In that non-public meeting, we voted to approve a letter regarding personnel, personnel matter. We also consulted with legal uh, advice, and because of that, we are going to ask that the records be sealed. Pursuant to RSA 91A3, because the divulgence of the information likely would affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the board. I make the motion. Second. Okay. The next meeting will be October 9th. I motion to adjourn. Excuse me, are you skipping the September 25th that you had previously scheduled? I'm sorry, what? Previously, you had said there would be a September 25th meeting. Is that not happening oh, no, I'm anymore? Sorry. I'm just talking about October. That's You're fine. correct. Thank you. September 25th. The month supplies. Yes. September 25th will be our next meeting. September 25th. Huh? Just before the Yeah. Okay. Give us a start in September. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We made a motion to adjourn. Yes. And we're agreed. We're adjourned. I just got this. Yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. Okay. I think now.
Taste and feel.